Why do they always take away the good stuff? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 discontinued Burger King products we miss. For this list, we're looking at various discontinued Burger King products that were actually pretty darn good. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10. Burger Bundles Back in the day, you could buy a set of three or six mini burgers. These burger bundles were appropriately called, well, burger bundles. Are these good? Or what? They were a cheap alternative to the mainstays, and they were meant to compete with peers like Crystal or White Castle. And because they were so cheap, they proved incredibly popular with teenagers. And while sales exceeded the company's expectations, the burgers themselves were incredibly difficult to make, as the small patties would continuously fall through the automated chain. Get them now, before they're gone. Burger King, the best food for fast times. They were discontinued in 1987, notable for being the very same year they were introduced. The concept was eventually reintroduced in the form of the Burger Buddies, but it's just not the same. Introducing new Burger Buddies. Look, Alice, they've got your pickles. Number 9. Crown Jewels The Whopper is good and all, but it's not the crown jewel of the Burger King collection. That would be the crown jewel line. These were premium burgers that were served on a Kaiser roll and contained fancy toppings like mango lime sauce, avocado, and aioli. This lineup was originally unveiled in New Zealand with hopes that it would go worldwide over time. Unfortunately, people don't go to Burger King to get expensive aioli burgers. They go for the Whopper. As such, interest in the Crown Jewels line quickly dissipated, and they were discontinued before they had a chance to make a true impression. Bring back the aioli, BK! Number 8. Cine Minis Burger King's Cine Minis were little cinnamon rolls that were added to the company's breakfast menu in 1998. They were billed as delicious, bite-sized cinnamon rolls from the heart of the bun. And they were indeed glorious. You fresh-baked Cine Minis, four delicious rolls from the heart of the bun. And while they were quite cheap at just 99 cents, they soon disappeared from the menu. They were clearly quite popular as well, judging by the Change.org petition to bring back the Cine Minis that garnered over 2,700 signatures. And those people got their wish. Sort of. The minis were brought back in the winter of 2018 as part of an exclusive Grubhub deal. If you spent $10 or more, you got a pack of four Cine Minis for free. Number 7. Crown-Shaped Chicken Nuggets Beginning in the 2000s, BK introduced adorable little crown-shaped nuggets to the menu. They were weirdly popular, but ultimately they were discontinued in January of 2013. Well, at least in the United States and Canada. Okay, we don't really need the crown-shaped nuggets. It's not like the shape of the chicken changes the taste, you know? But come on, who doesn't want to eat cute little crowns? Evidently, 1,600 people really, really wanted to, at least according to a Change.org petition demanding that BK bring them back. Like we said, they were weirdly popular. We suppose everyone loves a cute little deep-fried novelty. Number 6. Whopperito The Whopperito was a Mexican-themed iteration of the popular Whopper burger. You say burrito, we say Whopperito. It was all the ingredients of a Whopper wrapped inside a tortilla and slathered in queso sauce instead of ketchup and mustard. Because Mexican? It garnered mixed results. Some people loved the taste and the unique southern twist, while others detested every fiber of its being. Headlines like, I ate Burger King's Whopperito because I am a trash person, and Burger King's Whopperito is as disgusting as it looks were prominent, but we don't care what they say. It was good and it needs to come back. Number 5. The Loaded Steakhouse What'd you do to deserve a burger that special? I just discovered a moon orbiting Regulus 279 in the Crab Nebula. The Steakhouse began its life as the simply named Angus Steak Burger, which contained a 5-ounce Angus patty. And while Burger King had high expectations for the burger due to its premium quality, it failed to generate much interest. I helped. You helped. You either discover a star or you don't. You arrogant. Punk. They eventually retooled the burger into the Angus Steakhouse, which in turn had its own glorious spin-off in the Loaded Steakhouse. This burger contained a traditional Angus patty with toppings of mashed potatoes, fried onions, and A1 sauce. It was a gloriously novel idea, and a popular one at that. It's weird, it's wacky, and we have no idea how this bad boy sparked into existence, but it may just be the most beautiful Burger King creation. 
and we miss it dearly. So special, people may think you think you're special. Number four, bacon cheesy tots. Burger King just loves toying with our emotions and our taste buds. In the 2000s, you could buy these things called cheesy tots, which were essentially just cheese-filled tater tots. Unfortunately, they were taken off the menu in 2009, and we cheesy potato lovers were left in the dark. That is, until March 2019, when BK brought them back with bacon. These were even better, like a little bite-sized baked potato. I love cheesy tots. That's an amazing value. And then they took it off again. And then they brought it back again the following October, only this time without the bacon bits. Will they stop messing around and just make it a menu staple already? Number three, fiery chicken fries. If you love spicy food, then you undoubtedly loved BK's fiery chicken fries. These were just a spicy iteration of their normal chicken fries, but they were freaking delicious and spicy as hell. Introducing fiery chicken fries only at Burger King. The spiciness was concocted through a mixture of black pepper and cayenne pepper. Unfortunately, the fries were only run for a limited one month trial period, and we guess they weren't popular enough to catch on. We certainly understand. Spicy food isn't for everyone, but still. You can still buy the normal chicken fries, of course, but sometimes we find ourselves thinking of their beautiful spicy equivalent. Number two, Angry Whopper. This was yet another spicy variation of a menu staple. The Angry Whopper contained all the traditional Whopper toppings, but added a bun infused with hot sauce, onion petals, jalapenos, and a special spicy sauce. Burger King's Angry Whopper returns with flame grilled beef and a sting of jalapenos, angry sauce, and angry onions. It was only released for a limited time and quickly disappeared from the menu. That is, until the spring of 2019, when it was re-released, without the hot sauce infused bun. I'm upset. I was promised an Angry Whopper. The wait was over. <laughs> oh my god, is this real? No matter, it was still very good. Unfortunately, this too was only released for a limited time, and it vanished just as soon as it reappeared. You can still find the Angry Whopper over on BurgerKing.com.mx, which tells us that it's still on the menu in Mexico. Anyone up for a trip? I said this on our list of discontinued Taco Bell products, and I will say it again here. I hope we do discontinued Wendy's products because their breadsticks were literally life. But of course, these BK menu items are all dearly missed. I personally never got the chance to try Cine Minis, but I would totally be down for that. Have we mentioned your fave yet? Let's dig into some honorable mentions, and then we'll see which discontinued Burger King menu item we miss the most. That Western taste is back at Burger King, the Bullseye Barbecue Burger. As much cheesy flavor as you want, shake and eat. The new grilled sourdough bacon cheeseburger will make you a believer. Number one, ribs. We know what you're thinking. Fast food ribs? No thanks. We hear you, but Burger King's ribs were actually really, really good. So good, in fact, they had trouble keeping up with demand. Back in May of 2010, Burger King briefly introduced ribs to their menu as a limited run promotion. There you go. Take a little nibble. They're fire grilled. The ribs went for $8.99 for an eight piece, and customers couldn't get enough of them. They quickly burned through 10 million ribs in a month and were forced to end the promotion early because they literally ran out of meat. The ribs were enormously popular, surprisingly delicious, and immediately missed. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.